it's I'm not, not familiar with the concept of divorce. <laughs> I'm really not. No, it's, it's happening. There's been a few cases. I'm like, sweet, sweet justice. So what, okay, what does society on average think of these dudes that are collecting these checks? Because there's, a, you know, there's not really much of a stigma attached to the women that collect the checks. You know, oh, they were just a victim or whatever. You know, no matter what it is, if you hear of a woman collecting an alimony check, you just assume it's just. But what if you hear of a dude, <laughs> especially if he's like my age, you know, like not really old, you know, still capable of handling things, you know, what would you think of a dude like that collecting an alimony check? Like what would be said about that guy? You know what I mean? Yeah, well, okay. He wouldn't be able to enjoy it as much as a woman would. Oh, no, that and that's very true unless you're talking to somebody with, you know, actual intelligence who's going to, you know, sit there and rationally say, well, divorce, have to pay alimony to the – Spouse who earns less, meh, that's how it goes. But they're going to well, receive the it, same stigma as like the stay-at-home dads that are starting to pop plus, up. Plus, in a lot of alimony, like uh, one of the conditions to it ending is if they marry another person. What incentive does this guy have to marry anybody else? Because once he does that, the roles are going to be instantly switched. He's going to be expected to take care of whoever that is probably. Oh, Unless yeah. he's some kind of like cougar hunter and he can find like rich old women on tap or some shit. Yeah, and I'm, that's one of the few. That's one of the things I'm. Uh, I'm just gonna enjoy seeing. I'm gonna enjoy watching the feminist swarm when this happens. Cause I don't know if you know. I don't know if you know this, but I'm an anti fem. I'm an anti feminazi. Like in the, the purest definition of feminism, which is basically equality between men and women. I do consider myself that, but pure equality. You're you're talking about the women that want to ban porn and all this shit, like the super feminists, the Marxist ones. Yeah, the Those Marxist. are the ones you don't like, right? Yeah, I I despise them. And I've yeah, actually, I'm not real fond of them myself. And I've caught a couple of them when they were going on about I just can't afford it. Yeah, as if men are gonna say I just can't afford condoms. Now I know it's I know that's not an accurate comparison, but if we couldn't afford condoms, you really think we're gonna run to the government? To say, we're entitled to have this. We're entitled to have that. I have testicular cancer. Fix me now. Well, well thank God Onision didn't have any fucking kids because we'd probably be taking care of them right now. Oh, God. Please don't please don't bring that up. Last thing we need <laughs> is another little Gregory Jr. running around. I knew with that Shiloh thing when it's like, uh, oh, Shiloh's pregnant. I was like, yep, there's going to be a magical miscarriage. T minus <laughs> five weeks and counting. <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. Miscarriage. Oh, isn't that something? What a clinky dink. No, one of the one of the things I'm thinking. I always wonder about Greg if he's while he's editing his videos, if he's eating a cheeseburger, saying these guys are fucking stupid. Um, um, um. That would be hilarious. Oh, my God. He would become my favorite person in the universe. He really would. I would take my hat off and be like, ah, I have to do this whole video with my hat off to you. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. I would instantly favorite all his shit if that was the case. I mean, you got to wonder with all the crap he does. I mean, you got to wonder if him and Shala are just sitting there eating cheeseburgers like, Jesus Christ, these guys are so fucking stupid. <laughs> Like, or better yet, him and Sky oh! and Shiloh sitting there eating cheeseburgers. No, it's like they one day just come out with a video of all three of them. Hi, hi, hi. Onision, and I'm just here to say I love the cow. Hum. It's like, oh my god. The and wind. he's real he's really a forty seven year old woman. <laughs> M Night Shyamalan is writing this shit. <laughs> It's like, oh yeah, by the way, guy well actually he uh, went on there with his shirt off, so that would be nudity. Oh my God! He—it was an illusion. Oh my! He's a really flat woman. <laughs> he's like—he's so pasty. Like he, I'm pretty pale, but like he needs like you can see blue veins. Like he needs to get some sun, dude. Seriously, he's in front of that computer screen too fucking much. Uh, yeah, no kidding. But I think that hits our quota. Quota? Uh, our quota? We can talk more after this, but did you want to end the show? Yeah, I, yeah I, I, I could end it or keep it going. doesn't matter either way. I mean, last time we ended the show, we like talked for like another hour and a half. 
and there was a, I was like thinking while we were talking, like we should have recorded this. Like, fucking. Okay, we're gonna do an official sign off, and you're gonna laugh at this audience if it, we just keep fucking airing after this. But this is <laughs> this is Dax and Timex signing off and thanking you for listening in the cheesiest voice possible because it's awkward and I don't know what else to do. Anything to say, Dax? Well, after you hug your local hippies, like I said yesterday, make sure to kick them in the nads to make sure they don't reproduce. And with that, the outro. And this is the part where we play the music. I'll just edit that shit in later. All right. As, as for now, fucking... Are you still recording? No, I can... Yeah, I'm, I can stop, though. And... St-